What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy SOG. In today's video, I'm going to talk about three different holsters at three different budgets that work very well for your Glock 43X MOS. The reason I picked these three holsters is very simple. is because one, it's in every budget. So whether you want to spend a little bit or you want to spend a little bit more, uh, you can find a good budget for that price. Also because their lead times or shipping times are very, very quick and you don't lose any of that quality over um, spending too little or too much on a holster. So first thing we're gonna do is clear the firearm. The first one I'm gonna talk about is the most expensive one. This is Tolster uh, Oath Tolster. The thing I love about Tolster is their quality, their finish. This does ship, I think it's next day, so it's very fast shipping. This comes with a metal clip that is tuckable. It comes with the claw. The sweat shield here is mid, so you don't have the full length um, sweat guard, which could dig into your body sometimes, uh, which can make it uncomfortable for you to wear over a long period of time. It does have an open-ended muzzle, so you can fit like a threaded barrel. And this is just very nice quality, very minimalistic, as you guys can see here. Now I do have this, this does not come with the holster, but I have this on here because sometimes I run the wedge. But otherwise, this is just a very, very minimalistic, very nice quality holster. And again, this is $75. It's the most expensive one on the list. The retention is great. The comfort is great. And the audible click is just, just amazing. Just listen to this here. And it just like, the retention is good. Um, it feels like almost magnetically just pulls the gun in. I mean, just effortlessly just kind of sucks it in. Yeah, take that and it just feels super nice. So this is what I normally use. This is my go-to. Uh, if I'm not running a light on my 43X MOS, this is definitely my go-to and I run this strong side. Recently, I started carrying appendix or trying to at least. So that's why I have this for the wedge. But otherwise, this is a great holster that ships very quickly. And for the price, I think it's I think it's a great deal, to be honest. Uh, even though it's the most expensive on this list, I do think it's a really good holster. And I do think it's worth it. Next up on the list is going to be A&I Holster. This is um, one of the newest acquired holsters that I have. And I was, I've been running this for a few weeks now. And I absolutely love this holster. This is a light bearing holster, as you guys can see here. And this comes automatically with the mono block clip. It also comes with the concealment claw or wing, whatever you want to call it. And this is adjustable. It's got a little screw right in there that you can remove and you can adjust the height of the claw or wing to make it go higher or lower depending on your comfort. This also has the option to run dual uh, clips so you can remove the mono blocks and put a clip here and put another clip up here and then you'd run two. Um, it also has an open ended muzzle again for threaded barrels and whatnot this one does have a full sweat guard or sweat shield here and as i mentioned in the toaster it had a mid sweat guard so it was very comfortable against your body it didn't push up against it but the way that these guys did the finish here it's very very rounded so it doesn't hurt you in any way it doesn't really push up against your gut like i thought it was going to uh initially i thought this was going to be an issue but it's not the way that they did this finish was very very nice and again very minimalistic very sleek very nice these these guys also ship very very quickly and the price on this is extremely extremely well i mean for this whole package that you see here it's only 60 dollars and the thing is is you might be like sixty dollars is not cheap but keep in mind of all these upgrades that it has i mean you're you're getting the mono block clip you're getting a claw you're getting an, an uh light compatible holster with the option of running different clips um it's optic ready as well and all of that typically when you're buying a holster they charge you to add mono block you know ten dollars or whatever they charge another 10 15 for the claw or the wing they charge you an extra um, you know 10 15 dollars to add a light they, they, they so they tax you for all these extra things but a and i keeps it nice and simple at one price for everything and you have the option to buy separate clips that you can put on here uh in the future if you need to but this is overall just a very, very good holster. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the TLR7 sub light on my 43X and show you guys the retention. Here is that retention on this A&I. 
again this is an unloaded firearm that we're dealing with now the retention on this is very nice as you guys can see here it's not going anywhere and i'll be honest the retention on this is much nicer than the toaster retention when you put your gun in here it just goes nowhere now the one thing I would change about the the A and I holster though is that there is no audible retention click. You don't get that nice Kydex click. It just kind of goes in there, and you can feel the retention just kind of surrounding the gun. And when you pull out, there is no scuff marks or anything like that. So it's a very very nice quality holster that really has the, probably the best retention of the three holsters that I'm gonna sh that I'm gonna be showing you guys today but I mean if you just look at this finish this is just super super nice all of the cuts for being a light bearing holster it's super comfortable it's very minimalistic it's very very nice and I definitely recommend this but again the only thing I would change is the fact that there's no audible click now that doesn't mean that it doesn't have good retention that doesn't mean it's a bad holster it's just everybody likes that click right so it doesn't affect the the how good the holster is it just it's kind of something that we all want in a kydex holster last but not least this is the cheapest i hate to say cheap but this is the lowest budget holster for your 43x mos that i would recommend and this was on sale from 30 dollars to 23 dollars, and i jumped on that deal 30 dollars is good but you can't beat 23 for this this is a bravo concealment torsion 3.0 and this is injected molded this is an amazing holster for the price uh it it's so minimalistic it just it's comfortable it conceals extremely well and uh the sweat shield on this is a semi full so it's not completely full it's kind of between mid and full and it's got the dual clips and again also uh has an open-ended muzzle for uh threaded barrels you've got adjustable retention here uh, you can uh, you can adjust the uh, right height here and you can also adjust the right height on this one over here uh, Very very nice holster. I think this of the three even though it's the lowest budget probably has the best um, Just the best attention to detail and I wonder if it's just because it's injection molded But just the attention to detail they put into this holster is just unbelievable and I want to show you guys here how this fits and the retention and the audible click because the audible click on this is also really really good and there it is just a super super nice holster as you guys can see it's not completely full nor is it a mid it's just kind of semi full here but if you guys look at this it is very very thin and i like this idea where they kind of flap this open a bit because it's easier to reholster with these little flaps kind of coming out but yet you don't have any access to the trigger which is awesome as you guys can see there but i mean this just looks fantastic and it fits great the retention is really really good and that audible click is just so nice and it just it's super smooth this one doesn't feel as like magnetic i guess is the best way i can describe it as the uh, tolster but it's just so smooth so soft to go in there you can just tell that they really paid attention when they were doing things uh, over at bravo concealment all three of these are made in the u.s uh which is always a plus now the only thing i would change about this holster here is the fact that the clips are plastic and it is a pain to put these on and take to put this holster on and take off because these clips are so hard to pull but it's just a very sturdy holster you can always swap this one out with like a metal clip i would assume i haven't tried but this one is kind of a weird like half half clip kind of thing as you guys can see so it's not like you can swap it with one of the metal clips either but that's the only thing i would switch about this holster is i'm not a fan of plastic clips so if they were to make these metal clips i would this would be man i don't know this would just be an unbelievable holster it already is now for 23 dollars. if you're on a budget this is the way to go i mean there's no questions about it this is probably the best holster for under 30 dollars. so if you're on a budget this is the way to go now if you have more money though i would definitely recommend uh upgrading to a and i or to toaster but if you're on a budget and you just want to see what this is like and check these guys out bravo concealment great holster so there you have it guys i gave you guys three great options here in terms of holsters 
Bravo Concealment Torsion 3.0 for 25 to $30 if you can find it on a sale or not. You got the A and I holster. And again, this one is light compatible with all the extra accessories that normally a holster company would charge you for. And this is only $60. And then you have the most expensive option here, which is the Tulsa Oath holster. This one is $75. All three ship quickly. All three are priced honestly under what they're offering, uh, especially the A&I way under because of all the stuff. Bravo concealment, just fantastic quality for the price. Tulsa, it just, it just runs, it just works. So three great holster options for you guys. If you guys have a Glock 43X MOS and you're looking for a holster, I hope this helped. Until the next video, you guys, God bless you and take care.